Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is September 8th, and well, Barrow is here on, is it the Lorunda Relay on Mercury? I'm pretty sure it's been two weeks since Tenocon, and it's crazy how much time has flown. Are you ready for Whispers in the Wall this Christmas? But before then, as a reminder, on September 19th, the first Descendants next open beta goes live. You just might want to check it out. Think Warframe but Korean. And still no bullet jumping, but we do have a grapple. I'll see you there. We'll be streaming it live with exclusive Twitch drops too. Anyways, let's see what Barrow has brought this time. The new item is an Ultra Sentinel Mask. I... What does this even do? Oh, it's that tiny little thing. Well, if you want to pick it up, it is in store now. It almost looks like a monocle for your Sentinel with a super tiny spike prisma shade is back it was buffed for ghosts to have similar effect to the hiding invisibility mod from the hero kubro though even if you don't want to use it i would still recommend picking it up because that is 9000 mastery 6000 from the shade 3000 from its weapon Prime Sniper Ammo Rotation returns once again. If you do want to pick it up, that is an entirely optional mod. I'd say the only one that might need it is Perigale. Now, we have left Eos Prime Shoulder Plates, right chest and legs. This is the entire Eos Prime set. I do find picking up the colors on the preview can be a little bit awkward, but trust me, it can color well. I would suggest picking it up. The only one I don't really like is the legs can get a bit awkward. But yeah, Prisma Arrows returns once again if you want that for your bows. Vermilion Storm for Claws. It's one of the options. Not an all be all. If you don't want to farm it, Barrow does have it. Primed Regen. Pretty niche. Pretty niche. If you really, really want to use your Sentinels now, then I would recommend picking this up and bringing it to... I think it was rank 8 or rank 9 only, because you just want the 3x revive. It doesn't need to be rank 10 for that. But outside of stuff like Eidolon Hunts or shorter missions, there really isn't much of a use, and most people use, well, Smita Kavats or Panzers these days. But with the rework coming later this year, this probably isn't even that necessary. I don't even know what the mod will do then. Maybe just faster revives? Prime Target Cracker, mandatory mod, grab it. You pretty much use it on every single crit pistol, every single hybrid pistol. If you don't have this, I don't know what you're doing. Then we have the Katir Atmos earpiece. If you want to be a cat girl again, well, I mean, the parts are here. We have our Prisma Rurusa Indana. That's what this, it looks like. It colors a bit awkwardly. If you'd like it, Prisma Twin Gremlins. These are fun weapons. Decent weapons. They've been power creeped into pretty much oblivion these days. But don't think that they're bad. Don't think they can't hold their own on Steel Path. They do work. And they have a decent disposition, but most importantly, if you don't grab it, that's 3,000 mastery rank points you are missing out on. We have our Diriga Desert Camo Skin, if you would like that kind of look. I mean, who uses Diriga these days? Anyways, Opticore Vandal is back again if you don't want to run your Thermia Fractures, or if you for some reason need a second copy of this weapon. It has overall better DPS than the original Opticore, however, it doesn't have the same punchy feel, and of course, well... I mean, its hitbox isn't that big, the damage isn't that high, so I'd say use it because you want to and you like the weapon rather than because it's good. It's just unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Anything can be if you're brave enough. We have our Lunar Renewal Oxygel on your chest. You can't really see it properly due to my chest plate. And then Class of 10 -Zero Poster, Eternalism. Straight from the Xeramon itself with the paper airplanes, as the kids not often get bored and even game in the corner. But if you'd like it for your dojo or your orbiter, you can get it here. We also have our Void Trader palette, a little bit more teal-tinted version of the Katir palette. If you haven't been able to pick it up before, this is the only place you can get it. So I would suggest grabbing it now. We have Rashinter Cult Spear Skin 2. This one ties into Neja's lore in the Laverian. So if you want a piece of history a part of the children's tale, you can grab it here from Barrow. The Renewal Tiger Emblem is also here for the shoulders. That's what it looked like if you want to pick them up. Basilisk Fighter Decoration, which you can use in your Empyrean Vignettes. Essentially, instead of having a fish tank in your personal quarters, you now have a, well, space with planets and stuff and whatnot. And you can set up these dogfighters there and put them all in combat against each other, frozen in time. Javi scrawling. 
I guess you could call this wallpaper for your personal quarters. For some reason, I don't recall seeing this before, but it obviously has run in the past, which is why it's down here. And then our typical Fae Path Ephemera, as well as Sands of Inaros Blueprint for, well, Inaros' quest. If you show up with Inaros Prime, there will also be the Lost Signal item, where you get to escort Barrow himself to safety. What does it award? Well... You're going to have to do it yourself to find out. But that is what Barrow has brought this week to Warframe on the LaRonda Relay. And, well, I hope you enjoyed all of that. As we always know, console is matched up with PC now. That is all I have to show you. A like or a subscribe goes a long way. Thank you all so much. And, well, I mean, I guess this is where I'd say see you all in First Descendant in 11 days. But, yeah, thank you all for watching and see you all next time.